Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz. So let us continue solving some more questions on dynamic programming. So this question decode ways is a really famous interview question. It has come so many times in interviews and this question is going to teach us something really important. It will teach us how to use recursion and then it will teach us how to use memoization into recursion and then convert it to the bottom of dynamic programming. So we will go step by step. First of all, let's understand what the problem statement is. So basically, a is mapped to 1, B is mapped to 2, C is mapped to 3 and so on till Z is mapped to 26. Now we are given some digits and we have to tell the reverse mapping of this. We have to decode that. So for example, if we have A, A, J and F, A, A, J and F, the corresponding to this, the digits will be 1 for A, 1 for A, for J it is 10 and for F it is 6. Now actually we are given this part, we are given this part and we have to generate all the possible decodes of this. Now one way obviously is this, we can treat them as 1, 1, 10 and 6 and then reverse map them. So it will be A, A, J and F but there is one more way and that is to consider 1 and 1 together, 1 and 0 together and 6. So for this the decoding is k, j and f. So we have to tell for a given digits, for a given sequence of digits, how many decodes can we have? For a given set of digits, how many decodes can we generate? We have to tell the number, okay? So let us see what are the possibilities are here with us. Uh, I should take the same example, that is 1, 1, 1, 0 and 6. Now for this given sequence of digits, what I can do when I have been given this entire sequence, I am at the beginning. So there are two possibilities with me. The first possibility is to replace this one with A and then generate the decode for the remaining sequence. So we can consider A here and 1106 corresponding to this I will generate all the decodes. Of course with the help of recursion we don't have to do anything here we just have to call recursion on I plus 1 that is starting from this point. Clear? Okay. So this is one of the possibility. Now what is the other possibility? The other possibility is to take the starting two ones together that is 11 and corresponding to 11 we will be having k. So we have k here and we should now call recursion on this part. Now for this part our i should become i plus 2. Okay, It should point over this place. So we'll be left with 106 and we have to generate all the decodes of 106 with the help of regression of course. Okay. So whatever decodes we have corresponding to 1106, we are going to append that in front of A and whatever decodes we have corresponding to 106, we will append them at the back of K. Now if we add both these options, we will get our answer. So we only have to do two things. The first thing is to pick up the first number okay, and then call the recursion on remaining part and the second option is to pick up the starting two numbers and then call recursion on the remaining part and then add both these together. So that is what we have to do. Now let me just show you how does this recursion work. Actually you won't have to do this every time because uh, in some time you will have enough practice that you won't have to think that how is it working. We'll just write these two steps and that's it. But as of now, as you want more clarity as, as to how this recursion work, I will just explain it to you. So here again, we can either pick the first number. So I will replace it by A and then call recursion on the remaining part that is 106. Okay. Or I can take the starting two numbers uh, that is going to give me K. So if I pick up starting two numbers, it's going to give me K and I will call recursion on the remaining part. Now again, corresponding to 106, what I can do is I can take the starting one number. So if I take starting one number, I will replace it with A and then I will be left with 06. Or I can take starting two numbers, that is 10, 10, 10 could be replaced with the help of, uh, 10 could be mapped to J. So J and the remaining number is 6. Now if I want to expand this one, if I expand this one, I can take the starting one number that is 0 but I cannot replace 0 with any of the alphabet. As we can see here, we are starting from 1 and 26. There is no space for 0. So from here, I will not be able to proceed. 
So in this case, simply return zero. Why zero? Because there's no way to generate such a decode. All right, so let us look at the right hand side. In the right hand side, what do we have? We have, we can take the starting two numbers, that is zero six. Again, for zero six, we have no mapping, so we will be returning zero from this as well. So zero from both these places, so zero will be returned here. Zero plus zero is zero, it will be returned here. Now let's see what is the right hand side, this one. So here we have six and six could be replaced with F. So we will be having F and as we are done decoding the entire sequence, because now we will be left with nothing. As we are done decoding the entire sequence, we will return one from here. Now one will be returned from here. From the left hand side, we got zero. From the right hand side, we got one. So zero plus one, one, one will be returned back to here. Now again, using the same procedure, we cannot decode zero six as we were not able to decode it here itself. So we will be returning zero from this place. Again, zero plus one is one, so one will be returned here. Okay. All right, let's move on to this part. If I want to decode 106, as I saw that 106 could be decoded into one of the ways, that is J and F. So I can return simply one from here. I will not write all these steps, such as A, then taking 06 and then taking J, and six will be left. So actually these steps are same as this. So I will not write the entire thing. I will simply return one from here. So one plus one is two. So two is the answer for this. I hope you understand this. If you don't understand this, just hold on a minute. I will just tell you how to write the code. The code is really simple. So what you have to do, you have to create a function, a recursive function, and you have to start with I from zero and then have a string S passing it as a reference again, you can see. Now, as I told you, if I am able to exhaust the entire sequence, if I'm able to reach the end, so when I is actually equal to S dot size, in this case, return one, because I decoded the entire string. Otherwise, I will create an answer, and I will have two options, either to pick up the first letter. So how can I do that? Int option one is equal to S of I minus zero. So this is actually going to give me the integer of the first digit. Okay. All right. Now let us take the starting two numbers. So if for that, I'll have to check this condition. If s dot size is smaller than if i is smaller than s dot size minus one, then only I will be having two numbers, at least two numbers left. In that case, option two is equal to option one multiplied by 10 plus s of i plus 1 minus 0. So I have to convert it into integer. I hope this step is very clear. Option 1 into 10 plus the next number. Okay. Now if option 1 is greater than 0, in that case answer plus equal to help of i plus 1 s now checking the conditions for option two if option two is also greater than zero and option two is smaller than or equal to 26 now in this case answer plus equal to help of i plus one return answer now let me just call this I hope these steps are very clear to you. Actually, I'm just um, making these two integers, option one and option two. These two integers are the integer representation of these numbers. So for this example, option one will be one and option two will be 11, okay? Now I'll check the conditions for both of these. If option one is greater than zero, then I can proceed. I can add uh, this into the answer. If option two is also greater than zero, as well as option two is smaller than 26, then I can decode it, okay? help of 0 comma s and I can simply return it from here. Let us just try to run this and see if there are any compilation errors. Option 2 is equal to oops option I will have to create the option 2. Option 2 is equal to option 1 into 10 plus s of i minus. Okay actually uh, this there's a problem the problem is 
so the error is because of this I have to do I plus I plus 2 instead of I plus 1 I'm jumping two steps aha so here the condition is when i is equal to s dot size but in some cases i might be equal to s dot size plus one so in that case this condition will not return from here and it will simply start executing these steps which is obviously wrong so for that i is greater than or equal to s dot size then i will be returning from here also i should initialize this uh, option to s zero now i'm getting correct answer let me just try to submit this okay so I was waiting for this error now why am I getting this error so the reason is simple uh, we had 0 6 now for 0 6 obviously there is no possibility because we cannot break it down into 0 and 6 neither can we have 0 6 so both these possibilities cannot be mapped back actually there is no decode for 0 6 and there is no decode for 0 and 6 but why are we getting 1 as the answer because uh, when we took option 1 as 0 and we calculated option 2 option 2 was actually calculated 0 multiplied by 10 plus 6 which is equal to 6 now option 2 became 6 okay in this case in this example our option 2 became 6 we can see here so let me just print it out option 2 it became 6 here see it is 6 so that is why this condition is being satisfied but we should also check that option 1 should not be equal to 0 option 1 should not be equal to 0 and option 2 is greater than 0 so these are the conditions that we need to check okay let me now submit it and hopefully I will be getting TLE this time so the time limit is is being exceeded why because we will be having so many repetitions in this so as we can see if we have one 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 and so on so what we can do is we can break it as a and then one 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 or we can break it as 11 that is k and one 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 okay again we can break it as a and one 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 and then we can break it as k one 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 yes now we will have to compute this again but this is also being computed here so these are the repetitions again we will have a lot of repetitions here so whenever we get repetitions we try to store them using dynamic programming what is the what is the state of dynamic programming the state is i actually i is changing in these recursive calls so we just have to memoize this i so for that i will create an array of size 100 because i can go at max till 100 int dp is of size 100 let me just initialize this with something like why i'm taking 101 because of the safety so I want to initialize this dp memset dp minus 1 size of dp initializing this with minus 1 now here if dp of i is not equal to minus 1 then return dp of i otherwise before returning the answer we should store dp of i So now it is getting accepted. So you should not make any global variable. So that is why we should not make dp over here. We are just making it here. Now if we are if I'm making it here, I should pass this into this. I should pass this into this function. Install dp. And dp here and here and see so this is how you solve dynamic programming questions you first come up with a recursive solution the recursive solution was very simple we just have two things to consider the first one was to either pick up the first character alone the second thing was to pick up the first and the second character 
and then to add both of these. This was the recursive solution. Now as we saw in the recursive solution there was a lot of repetition so we just used memoization. Now after the memoization if you want to convert it into the bottom up dynamic program you can do that as well. Let me just show you how you can do that. So when i is greater than s dot size the answer is 1. That means dp of let me just make n here int n is equal to s dot size. So dp of n plus 1 should be equal to 1. Now n could be 100 so I should make this dp of size 102. Now dp of n plus 1 is equal to 100. dp of n is equal to 1 because anything that is greater than or equal to s dot size should be 1. Then I will start looking at another condition so to get the answer for the ith state I need the answer for the i plus 1th state and the answer for the i plus 2th state so it means that I should start generating my answers from i is equal to n minus 1 i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus to generate the answer for the ith state I need the answer for the i plus 1th state as well as the answer for the i plus 2th state that's why I am going backward now um, I should create int option 1 this is s of i minus 0 or maybe I should just copy this entire thing copy this entire thing over here paste it then having both of these steps over here now instead of calling this recursive function I should just replace it with dp dp of i plus 1 and remove this okay and here instead of help of this dp of i plus 2 other things yeah this answer should be replaced by dp dp of i plus is equal to this dp of i plus is equal to this and I should put 0 inside this entire dp so for that I can just memset it memset dp 0 size of dp and finally what should I return what should I return as I was returning this help of 0 so I should return dp of 0 no need to write this and we can just get rid of this recursive function now this is bottom of dynamic programming let us see if it is working oops there's some issue option 1 option 2 what's the problem S d okay dp it is giving us correct answer it is that simple to convert it a, a top-down dynamic programming to a bottom-up you just have to write, paste the entire code over here and then just change the recursive function to the state of dp that's it so this is it for this problem if you want more such content in future make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the latest videos thank you